You could drink vampire blood. I was tempted to like huck them in the water supply. Beat them up and leave them in the water supply. Vampire snack could have two very different meanings. <laughs> yes. What a snack. Pretty sure I've completed this floor. We'll just auto explore to make sure. What's going on, Pony? Alright. In the conversations in the Discord, a good idea was brought forward on how to keep Uzi Uzborn strong and healthy. And honestly, I'm all about that. And the answer is Mercurial Cloak being put on Uzi. That way, when Uzi rushes in and starts beating someone down, if they get in a bad situation, they will get teleported out. <laughs> what you editing? Nictus, hello there, and thank you for that resubscription. How you doing? All oh, your blasters play through nice. All right, Uzi. Here's the deal. I'm gonna manage your gear. You're wearing this on your back. Wear the Mercurial Cloak, please. Thank you. And I'm also just gonna give him maybe a, a battery or two just to make sure we're okay. Cloth overalls. Do you have any batteries in here? No. Do I have any batteries? The thought of something killing Uzi has me terrified. The problem with Uzi is he has no self-preservation instinct. So, like, we've had situations where he will just stand there on fire in a pool of acid, getting wailed on by seven things, and he doesn't care. He'll just stand there letting it happen. And so I've had to, like, screen dance a little bit to make sure he doesn't die. So my thinking is... If he has a mercurial cloak, he could rush in, beat someone down hard, and then just get out. And that would be quite helpful. Give me that body pack. If I'm not gonna have the mercurial cloak on my back, I might as well. Might as well wear the... The backpack here. Nine pounds, ten pounds. They've added some new bosses. Oh yeah, I remember there was a DLC. If I recall, I would have to like properly start over, which is why I didn't do it. I should pop in there at some point though. But at this point I might just be like, alright, Blastmas 2 is gonna happen sooner or later. And what did you want from me? Feathered items. Alright, let's take a peek downstairs. Who's the Usborn equips the Mercurial Cloak? He takes the things. He unequips the Crystal Greatsword. He equips a flawless Crystal Mace. Alright, he didn't change the cloak. He just reinstalled Blasphemous today. Nice. It was a good game. I'm sorry. How did the stairs get underneath this marble wall? How does this keep happening? Alright, I'm gonna attack this wall, and you're gonna make my life very- Ooh, look at- New effects? And you can see Uzi managed to damage himself there. But the Mercurial Cloak got him out. How's that wall doing? What is shoot- oh, those things are shooting little spikes off of themselves. Hello, person next to me. He has nothing to trade. Is he wearing anything good? No. I would really, really like to go down there. Queen! What's going on? Oh, breeze. This is, this is stupid. 
Come on. Wait a minute. I'm on strata 12. I don't even need to go down anymore, really. I came here for one specific thing, and I did it. Like, what am I going to get if I go further down? We can... <sighs> we can do the cryobarium, which would have... Potentially good gear if we go for, for Sada Moose. It's like the one reason to maybe head down that way. This wall is still in fine condition. Target the wall. There we go, Uzi took care of it. And I suppose we can get some good stuff down here too. We're really just doing this for supplies. And also, I want to run into my twin. If we run into my evil twin, I, I want to try and duplicate items. Which is why, if I look at my equipment, I am holding a locker in my hand. Because whenever we unequip, when we disarm my twin, we get copies of his weapons. And if he happens to be holding on to, say, a chest filled with valuables, I'll get a chest full of those valuables. Also, the update that happened recently is the greatest update of all time, because friendly minions will no longer attack their own bubbles like dumb bastards. What? Did you see that? That was a neat effect. How did he die that he did that? That was just a normal death. He, he kind of just faded away. Mysterious stranger there. Just turn you to dust. He could kill everything here, but Uzi does the work. What kind of golem we making? I definitely want to give it Uzi's body because Uzi... Uzi's been kind of fundamental to the run. Uzi, Uzborn wakes up. Sorry, Uzi. You being asleep is mostly my fault. Okay, there is a cloneling in there that is probably a good idea to kill fast before Uzi gets into melee combat range with it. Having to fight Uzis would be a problem. What were you wondering? Could you make your evil twin lovesick? Probably. I could probably hit it with a... a tonic. It might be tricky, but like, it's not impossible. We could give it a go. I wonder if I have a dark gun in one of my chests. I usually hoard that kind of stuff as utility. Get your evil twin to follow you like your extra dimensional piggy friend? See, my extra dimensional t piggy friend, uh, I don't know if he's lovesick anymore. Because currently he's beguiled. He's no longer lovesick. He's just normal beguiled now. I wonder what Uzi is now. Just free money, there's Uzi. And he's in fine condition. Ah, oh, much better. Yeah, normally he would he would hit something, he would burgeon, and then he would get grievously injured by his own burgeoning. Now we don't have to worry too much about it. Could I beguile my evil twin? Could I beguile my evil twin? That would be hard, but probably not impossible. He would have my stats, and I'm very hard to beguile. But I could shame him. I wonder if his his equipment's always based on what I'm wearing. <clears throat> I could put on something like a shaming mask. Like, I could really fuck myself up with equipment in preparation for bumping into him. Yeah, love sickness, shame, wearing a bunch of garbage like a gentling cone. Mm. 
Mom would be very sad if she could see you now. Schema soft. Medis Medicist module. Nothing I could use. I wonder if befriending yourself is an achievement. It has to be. Although I feel like I would have already gotten that by virtue of cloning, but they start friendly. You're not mad, you're just disappointed. Once we get to the cryobarium, that's when I'm probably gonna... Why? Now, I don't see anything poured on top of me, which makes me suspicious. How would your evil twin level? I don't know. These are interesting questions that I am curious about. Alright, we got a phase spider. <laughs> like you, but evilly. There's no clone of, of Sod over here, really? I guess we're here somewhere. Oh god, snail mother? Target. Damn, Uzi's fast! In the time I take one step, Uzi has like cleared half the screen. So it's one floor below this? Isn't he in this cryobarium? Is there two floors of cryobarium? And I'm just forgetting that. Two cryo rooms. That sounds like me. I would definitely... Is this the floor with the rocket launcher? Hold on. Let's wait for clairvoyance to be ready. Next floor has it, okay. Fresh as harvest day, fish and plankton, sea greens, protein from the sea. You okay there, Gomper? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, one floor has the scary stuff. This seems like not that floor. It does have an annoying phase ant. I really gotta get some normality gas. Oh, Logan's run. I haven't seen that in ages. All right, this floor is pretty safe. Great floor to get some phase silk. Go with some frozen trash. Muffled grunting coming inside from inside a block of ice. You're doing great, sport. Yeah, might as well harvest. Might as well kick it. Ah, uh, the constant sound of things freezing over and over again. I think we could figure out how to get downstairs, my guy. He says... Confusedly? All oh, right, Jesus. I forgot, I thought I came from here for some reason. A fused security door, whatever will I do? All right, here's where we run into the fun people. There's my boy. Last time we saw him, he managed to teleport himself into a wall. Flume flyer of the sky bear, Zetachrome longsword, ceremony of Vibro Kapesh. Yeah, I, I think we might harvest his goodies. Oh, Uzi, one million percent will take him down. <clears throat> uh, 
three, one. All right, I would like to start a precog vision. Got a clairvoyance. Where is the rocket launcher, man? Yeah, I want that Zetachrome. Target him. Oh, I see you need assistance. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop! They fixed it so they no longer... <laughs> Go back to the start of your vision? No, this is fine. Motherfucker. They no longer attack their own own bubble, but apparently, apparently they will still attack mine. Who's it killed him? The rocket launcher guy died that fast? Was it the juicing cannibal? I'm gonna tap into the mass mind. I just want to make sure we don't have any surprises. Man, Uzi's efficient. Precock. Womp. 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 Frigid mist to the west dissipates. How am I doing no damage? Where's Uzi? There's Uzi. He takes damage. <laughs> Maybe I have to turn off his cloak so he can actually fight Sod. Where'd Sod go? Sod? There he is. Jesus. How am I losing sight of him? All right, Uzi. Eventually he'll leave the cold room. And I'm keeping my eyes peeled for the Rhinox. Can I not hurt this man with my, my abilities? It's a little alarming. Come on, Uzi. This is it. <laughs> Alright, maybe I should tell you to take your cloak off for just a second. Come here. Oh, never mind, you got him. We're good now. Is Sod still alive in there? There's a lot of stuff going on. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. He got loved! Sod's on our team for a moment. His mind's in disarray. Direct to move. Come, come on up, buddy. Where's Uzi? It's a fun room. There's Sod. Hey, bud. Live and drink, Sod. Live and drink. Manage gear. Uh, you give me that. I'll take those sandals. Yeah, that warm static has given me a lot of fun friends. Wait, where was all of his stuff? Oh, he had gotten disarmed way early in that fight, I guess. 
Oh shit, that means the stuff is in there somewhere. Huh. I want I want that stuff. We got frozen strange tubes, carbides. It's probably all on the floor right in the center, isn't it? Target the frosted pillar. Target that frosted pillar. Let's remove the cryogenic machines. Alright, in theory, the ice will dissipate, right? I just want to get in there and get the gear. Where'd Sod go? I hope he's trying to fight the Rhinox. Alright, let's start precog vision. While we enter the very scary area for gear. Where's all his xenochrome? Where the hell is it? He only had his backpack on. Where were his weapons? I don't understand. I want stuff. Is it just gone forever? It's not here. Just checking all the tiles. Well, that's a little annoying. Where'd that rocket launcher go? Who picked up the rocket launcher? Oh, do you think it re-rolled his equipment? All right, I picked up the rocket launcher. I don't see anything about his gear. Bloody putrid Sodomus falls in love with Uzi Usborn. Wait. Do you think he gave his stuff? That's a good point. I don't see anything about Uzi picking him up, but he might have. Oh no! I didn't mean that! Good thing I'm in a precog mission. <laughs> Thank God we're precogging right now! <laughs> that button should really have a are you sure? Yeah, how is there no confirmation screen for that? <clears throat> would you like to return to the start of your vision? Yes. Yes, in fact, I would. I would indeed. Right on back to the beginning of that one. Christ. There really should be a confirmation for that one. Uzi, my friend. Let's go ahead and... Manage your gear carefully. Fuck. Very scary. Alright, doesn't have any Zetachrome equipped. Doesn't look like he has it. I just want that Zetachrome longsword. There should really be some kind of like, hey, are you sure you want to dismiss this guy? Let's auto explore. I don't know where his stuff went. 
I'm also not sure where he went. Sod's dehydrated, but like, who cares? What was that? The Rhinox is here. Hi, bud. The Rhinox is no longer here. Where is Saad Amus? He's not following us like the rest of the party. Yeah, I would like to experiment with leveling a sludge. I might even be the sludge, honestly. I kind of want to do a mono sludge run. Wait, a frozen human corpse? Who? Oh, that was probably the juice and cannibal. Where the fuck did Sod go? He's not on my list of people anymore. We just saw a message not long ago about him being dehydrated, right? Sodomus is dehydrated. Where did he go? Like, I don't mind. I don't- I don't want him in the team because he's gonna be unlovesick eventually, but... That's a little bizarre. Uh... I'm curious about something. Mechanimists. We're at zero with Mechanimists. We are not welcome in their holy sites. Jim! What's going on? Let's go up the stairs, because there is an evil twin. And we skipped a few floors by jumping down a shaft. All right. I don't. I don't know what happened to Sod. He just kind of disappeared, and his equipment disappeared too. I'm a little annoyed about that. I only went down there to steal his stuff. Oh my god. Go ahead and bubble before. Scary stuff happens. Go on. Get to the stairs. One of these floors, I think 11 we haven't done yet. Have a chicken stew? You're not terribly clear on how different companions level and how or if they mutate. Most things will mutate. The only things that will not, I believe, are things that uh, are considered, like, non-mutant humans. Like, folks with uh, implants will not get mutations. Leveling, I believe, is based on shared experience. But the thing is, like, two next level on Uzi, because he has all the pseudopods, is huge. His two next level is like a massive, massive wall we have to overcome. It would have been a lot easier had we leveled him as a mono sludge and then gave him a new pseudopod and then leveled him and then gave him a pseudopod, leveled him. We we really rushed him into the pseudopod life. And I think we lost out on some uh some easy levels and mutations that way. I will admit I'm not super clear myself though. Get some bubbling chicken stew, sounds good. Made a butter basted ribeye with garlic mashed potatoes and he actually made it taste like Christmas Eve and it made me sad. Because it tastes like Christmas Eve? Not having to like worry about Uzi too much is very nice. It does sound very good. Point defense drone. Great job. F 
five lasers left. All these new animations are very fun. Man, Uzi will not stop teleporting. There's normality gas going on out there? Ah, uh, that would make it sad. Understandable. I definitely have a few connotations like that when it comes to my... My aunts. My grandfather. Where is this normality gas coming from? Is there a miner? I would love to have normality gas. I don't know where Uzi is right now, but I'm sure he's fine. I believe things are dying. Oh, sweet. Okay, it's already considered an enemy. I don't have to target the snail mother. Folks are dealing with the snail mother. Still at full health. That crab's about to die. I'll take care of the crab. Honestly, I would rather he just teleports constantly so I don't have to worry about him very much. If I know he's healthy, that's all that matters to me. This Craigmensch refuses to let me kill him. Die! There we go. Uzi, where the hell are you? He's 25 squares away. That was not the direction he was, I guess. I want to just regroup my team up. Uzi! You took a little damage. But not too much. Nuclear so is full, you're wearing a cloak. Okay. Okay. There's pools of convalescence on this floor. Why don't we go stand in a little pool for a second, just to get you back up to full health. Take a load off, Uzi. Guess I could feed him something. There we go. Perfect condition. That's what I like to see. I really just want to enter a floor and see the alert that, uh... An evil twin's on the floor. That's my... My whole thing is I really want to try... Disarming an evil twin while they're cold- They're carrying my... My little chest of wonders. Zoom back in. Uzi? Alright, I see... I see Interdimensional Pigo. Twenty-one squares away, there he is. Getting teleported. How are you taking damage? How were you taking damage? Uh, take everything. Definitely take everything. Take everything, and take everything. If I were developing this game, the potential for exploiting duplicate would be number one in my mind. If someone was holding a chest, it would... Just be full of dicks and I give you an achievement for it. See, we've been we've been trying to use the various means of duplicating yourself to like get some special things, get extra copies of them. It took a while to realize because like when you kill your twin, there is no drop, you know? Like everything goes away. Do 
Just a terrifying, terrifying experience every time. It's like, please, break this. Sure, you want me to spawn thousands of trees that might kill you? Oh, God. That's why you're wondering about Beguiling the Twin. See, I, I want unlimited copies of my stuff, so my hope is if we can just disarm them. Every time we run into one, we could do it. And when a copy of you exists, raises questions, no easy answers. So far, they've been very good at making sure I can't duplicate stuff. But I'm pretty sure I got it. Pretty sure I got it now. I think I've cracked this code. Uzi looks fine. Someone is missing from this list. Son of a bitch. I have to go back down to the bottom goddamn floor. <sighs> All right, down the stairs we go. Can't figure out how to reach the stairs. Oh, yeah, this happened over here. Can't believe you fell in the goddamn hole again. What just happened? Did I break the game again? Invalid queue inconsistently. Removing invalid player object? I think I broke the game again. I've been very good at this recently. Come on! How am I so good at this? Just breaking caves could. My superpower. Didn't even do anything too weird this time. <laughs> the update I'm really waiting for is Force Bubble doesn't move walls around anymore. That's what I want. God, I would I would love that one. <clears throat> They keep on pushing a wall on top of the stairs. So this is when I was like, I want to regroup. Ah, oh, perfect. Didn't lose too much time then. Just bring Uzi back up to perfect health. Come along, Uzi. Zoom out. Clairvoyance. I mean, is there anything on that side of the room that I want? No. I just want to loot these chests. This one didn't even have anything I want. And then I'm out of here. The next floor doesn't matter. Ideally, we could avoid having anyone fall down the stupid, stupid, uh, shoot again this time. Uzi, my man. Well, let's, let's definitely kill the snail mother, though. And it's gone. Let's get out of here. 
And I think this is the floor I was on when we jumped in the shaft, yeah. There is an evil twin a couple of floors up waiting for me, but I don't think he'll re-spec based on what I've changed about my character. Pretty sure what we saw when we first saw him is what we're gonna get again. Stop moving the walls! So annoying! Uzi's behind me. Oh, the year of the old warrior when a corrupt minister was appointed minister of Batum, he outlawed the practice of scurrying the stars. Dario Pater was forced to leave. Too much jerk season, he needed to redo the broth. Oh, it was like a jerk chicken stew. Interesting. Lucy, how did you take any damage? I'm so confused. Hello there. Rough Jasper. Well, might as well just heal Uzi back up. We're standing conveniently in a pool. Yeah, yeah, rifle, rifle. Did normality gas hurt Uzi? No, maybe he was just colored for a second. Lacquered rolling chair, tree to scrap, disassemble. What's going on, Cactus? How are you? Yeah, 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 I know. Impaled. Stupid lurking Beths. Up we go. Once we kill that other evil twin. We'll leave Bethesda Sousa. Nowhere to explore, up. Pretty sure I've chatted. I'm guessing Uzi's bleeding. Yeah, beaded bracelets, come on. Surely I have beaded bracelets lying around at home. What floor is my evil twin on? This looks like the floor the evil twin was on. Or maybe not. I don't see any... Any indications. Preserve my fresh foods. Anything exotic? Luminous mushrooms? Do them. Uzi's in the green again. Somehow. You're still wearing the Mercurial Cloak, right? And it still has battery? Yeah, full battery. I understand how you took... Wait, 459 out of 471. You should be white right now. Reprogram mouse buttons. Control S and Control L. And I really should have thought of this sooner working in Maya. <laughs> uh, it's been so long since I've had Maya. So very long. Boop, 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 boop. Uzi! There was lava on this floor. Do we... I mean, Uzi's fine. The game crashed just then. Oh my god. How did that happen? I can't believe Kaiser Cut crashed again. My goodness. 
Yeah, oh, very convenient crash given that Uzi just died, but the game couldn't handle him dying. Ooh, can't believe that happened. Man, lava is an instant kill for this boy. Yeah, the game crashed! The game crashed. It definitely wasn't that Uzi walked into a puddle of lava and immediately cooled into a lump of shale. The game crashed, that's what happened. I think I'm just gonna leave Bethesda Seuss. Like, I've been through the floors now. There is an evil twin, but it's a pre-spawned evil twin, which means it's not going to have my equipment changes. And the whole point is to run into one fresh and new. So I'm just gonna warp out of here. We came here for... Special liquids dropped by alchemists. We got those special liquids dropped by alchemists. So back to Gritgate. That's a weird noise. Oh yeah! Hi, bud. I forgot you were here. <clears throat> Modana, the acclaimed Barathamite lecture. A lot of things are exploding in here, but that's fine. Do I have no water in my backpack right now? How the hell did that happen? I'm guessing all of the many, many thirst thistles that were spawned. That's how that happened. <coughs> I don't know if I actually want to give the flume flyer to anyone. I'll put it in my chest for now. Uh, leather gloves, leather boots. I want to kid out my, my breath and my buddy. I did get his jeweled sandals. The one thing we managed to get off that bastard. Fullerite dagger, put away. Well, I'll throw him at the bear. Maybe I'll use him. Bunch of stuff for me to take part. A booster gun. Did they rename the dart gun? Not the plate? Was that supposed to have a question mark? Oh no, the stuff I'm giving to him are nano weave vests, the gloves, the boots, and the beehive. The things that are highlighted are going into my chest of storage. I agree. <laughs> the minus five DV. Not worth it. Uh, and also, who wants a file? A vial in their backpack, come on. Let's grab a canteen or a water skin. We'll take a water skin. And I have stuff in my inventory to identify. It's a missile launcher. It's a carbine. It's an acid gas grenade. Hello, bear friend. Oh god, he has quills. I can't even put stuff on him. Well, here's a beehive. Gaslight Chris. Crystal Gauntlets? I mean, I guess you could have them. He has a floating beehive. Man, never mind. Stuff I was gonna give you is just going back in the chest. Boop, 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 boop. Richer form. Yeah, this Barathema is just gonna hang out here. He'll die, and I'll lose a lot of rep with everybody if I take him with me. I'll start storing uh, rockets, though. I would like to get a missile rack for our for our golem, if possible. Preserve my whore shrooms. I'm not inspired. In which case, just uh, eat the porch. 
Are you actually injured? I wish I could remove the dismiss option so I don't hit it by mistake. 465 out of 471. I guess technically you are lightly injured. It's just weird. Weird that you are. Okay, let me pop downstairs through this fucked up wall that somehow happened. What do we still need? We're gonna use Uzi Uzborn as the golem. Three drams of cloning drought as the catalyst. We're gonna get two of them, but they'll have less HP. We don't have an Atzimus yet, that's a body part. We need to find a limb. A Zetachrome dagger, they're gonna have every short blade skill and they'll have metachrome daggers. We're gonna give them four pieces of a gigantic mid to high tier armor. I don't actually know if we wanna go with cloning drought. If they get one third the HP, I'm worried they will die. Like, if we give them mid to high tier armor, they're gonna be better off, because we don't have any large armor. This is the only way we're getting large armor. But that's that seems like a, a lot of not health to have. So I'm not 100% sold on cloning trout yet. Uh, what else? I guess we can give them regeneration at level 10, which will make up for that low health, but uh, I could still be swayed off cloning drought. And power source we need, which neutron flux. Choose the neutron flux. So we just need to find a body part at this point. We could give it neutron flux as its thing. 5% chance a melee attack causes a small explosion. That could be fun. Or we give it Brain Brine. Also fun. Let me see here. As far as fun liquids go. Open. We have one, two, three, four drams of Cloning Drought, three drams of Brain Brine, four drams of Neutron Flux. Three drams of Warren Static. If we could run into just one evil twin and disarm him, though. Two random effects if we do Warm Static. Alright, if we wanted to find more Neutron Flux, we gotta go to the Moonstair, but eventually the quest is gonna take us there anyway. I just wanna kinda... find... my evil twin again. Cause that'll really solve my lack of liquids. And I wanna run the test. So I think I might just pop up on the surface and walk around uh, the Joppa area a little bit. Kind of a low level zone. I don't need to worry about running into anything we can't handle. It's just going to be interdimensional assassins and clones. Evil twins, I should say. Because if we had more cloning drought, I could make more of me. And I would love to have more of me around. So let's just take a little, a little stroll. I feel like we have pretty high likelihood of bumping into an evil twin if we just take a walk. Every screen, I feel like there's a percent chance it's gonna be like, you sense a sinister- And we found Tananip! Alright, where are you, me? There I am. Out of curiosity, I have 18 points. Bow and rifle. I really feel like disarming shot should be applicable to bow and rifle. I feel like disarm as a shoot should maybe be a tactic applicable to both. But maybe they needed more stuff for pistol. Because I would really like to take aim and knock, knock his stuff out of his hands myself. But there it is, disarming shot. Agility based chance to disarm your opponent when you score a hit with a pistol. Thankfully, Uzi has a fine enough chance to do it on his own. Uzi's decided the real threat is that very sad drill bot over there, though. 
That drill bot is not the target, my friends. Could we please focus? This man is who we need to be worried about. Do do just gonna pass some turns here. He's reflecting the lays, so we don't have to worry about him. He shamed me? You son of a bitch. Your bubble's gonna wear off soon. And then Uzi's gonna come at you and you'll get disarmed. Any second now. Any second now. That bubble's gonna wear off sooner or later. Where'd Uzi just go? How long does this bubble last? Uzi, go! Damn it, Uzi. If you have a normality gas, if so, have it in your throwing slot. I have no normality gas grenades. Which is a thing that annoys me a little bit. Oh! I saw the gun hit the floor. I'm hoping the chest hit the floor, too. Who leveled up just then? Ooh, locker rusts? That's a good sign. Of course, it's a scary fucking spot to try and get that chest out of. Oh, dude, he's still alive in there? Barely. Flawless shard mail, Kessel face, bioscanning bracelet. He doesn't have anything in his hands. And he's gone. Alright, these things are all friendly, but still scary. So I'm gonna start a precognitive vision. And I'm going to wade in. Uh, I can't, I can't get through. There's a lot of solids here, apparently. Do I have any defoliant grenades? Celery seeds, hi, fungus hi, of course not. The one time I could use them. I saw the gun hit the ground. It's in here somewhere. I'm gonna confuse the pile of plants. They'll hurt each other. This is all just going on inside his head. No, confusion didn't do it. Target. Direct to attack. That one. Now that one. <laughs> I want to go in there. Alright, auto explore for now. It feels like this may have been a success. Oh, my head is in the way, I see. Sorry. There's a pile of plants and I'm trying to figure out how to get through them. There's red death dockers on top of other plants, on top of other plants, on top of other plants. And somewhere in there is my, my disarmed stuff. Oh, I think it's working. They're attacking each other now. Okay, a lot of explosions happening. Where are these tumble pods coming from? 
Oh, that's where the tumble pods are coming from. We done with the tumble pods? Unfortunately, I think all the stuff that was here is destroyed. God damn it. I mean, it could have been knocked onto the next screen because a bunch of plants are there too. Again, I am I am covering <laughs> the one part of the screen that we're talking about. Right over here was a whole host of plants that all exploded, but that's where it was. Well, pop downstairs. Can you tinker on the chest to make it sturdy? You know? I'm not sure. We could try. Let's see. Locker. Show effects, remove, open, add note. Uh, I don't think we can. Wait, do I not have mod options? Oh, I have only of serene visage. The option might not be available at the moment because of that. Tar Ched is a place I'd like to go to. Let's again try and bait... Bait another sinister presence. If we could fight him not on the edge of a screen, that would probably help. Okay, alright. Another another sinister presence. I'm out here somewhere. Pretty sure I know where I am. Okay, here we are. Target. Yeah, I don't longer have all my fun tools. Wait, I don't have Sunder Mine. I don't know what that effect was for a second there. Just waiting. I reflect all the bullets, so it doesn't matter. I love how non threatening he is. How? He actually hit me with one? Alright, once that bubbles down, Uzi should take care of this. That was the sound of something dying, what? Who's sundering his mind? Go get him! Hey, Uzi? Uzi, why aren't you attacking him? Oh, he probably had a bubble up. Well, we were wondering what would happen if he fell in love with us. Frozen Evil Charles unequips the Zetachrome dagger, drops the Zetachrome dagger. Where is he? Four tiles away. Three tiles. Two tiles. Vantage gear. He doesn't have the two fist weapons.
Fungicide, Puddle of Putrid Essence, Thirst Thistle. I mean, I can get another Zetachrome Dagger. Give items? He has nothing in his inventory. Huh. I wonder if they were... I wonder if the devs were ahead of us once more. It seems like the chest may just disappear. Wait, here's his gun. I just got another copy of my, my two weapons again. Let's look around a little bit. Ah, oh, man. So maybe we can't have a chest in the hand slot for this. I would love to check. Man, look at how cool we are. <laughs> telepathy. Wait. Telepathy? I thought I didn't have telepathy. No, I guess I do. Look at that. Weird. Oh, right. I'm thinking of another another instance of our, our various <laughs> versions of this. It's been a weird experience. The first time we remade the character, uh, I can't remember what went wrong. Something stupid happened and we were forced to do it again. It was like literally ten minutes he existed. Like, he barely counted. But still, it was too funny not to have the name on there again. Still, though, I mean, if I get a whole host of equipment now... Uzi, my boy. What are you wearing? nano -E vest? What if you were wearing flawless crystal shard mail? Huh? Yeah, that's right. And wait, what's the Kessel face? Kessel face is great, it's just all stats and stuff. Here you go, have a Kessel face. You've got gauntlets on. And have another pair of crystal gauntlets. Shit, son. What if you also had a point defense drone? Glow sphere? No, no. Quantum moat. Plus one of all your saves and resistance to a bunch of stuff. What if you had a goddamn missile rack? I would like to find a missile rack. I feel like we have to go to Moonstairs to really give us a good chance of finding that, though. And you, my friends, let's manage your gear. We can give you the point defense drone. Oh, I forgot we have to remove that. I have to deal with the battery first. 50 A bits! Jesus, just replace the cell. Here, have a solar cell. It'll, it'll recharge itself in the daylight. Alright, nothing for your tail. Flawless crystal boots for you. And some steel boots, I guess. Uh, mirrored shades, yeah, sure. Fullerite arm, it's probably the best we got there. No, no, crystal coronet and crystal shard mail. There we go. Now my two dudes are kitted out. Thank you, evil clone. I'm 95% sure we won't be able to get the chest, though. I feel like I should just kill him right now. Uh, you you stay here. Just just stand there. Yeah, fight fight baboons. Have fun. Although, what if we take him with us and we run into another evil twin? What then?
I want to run into one more while using the, the chest in my hand. That way I could take a moment to look at him and see if he has it equipped. I think it was on one of them, because we saw it rust. But we might have to do one hand item at a time, in which case, eaters, eaters drop. I have nice prepared eaters nectar in the form of food, so I don't have to worry about it being an injection that happens randomly. Excuse me, excuse me. Just try, trying to get by. Excuse me. Read. Deep in the wilds of soldiers' aristocracy of Quapir, Dara Upeta IV stumbled upon a clan of flowers performing a secret ritual. Because of his inquisitive, inquisitive visage, they fiercely rebuked him and declared him a villain to their kind. Alright, how are we going to get a body part? That's the real big thing now. I don't think Uzi has, like, Dismember skill available. Because we can give him a bunch of axes. Can we just, like, butcher a body? Snapjaw corpse. Eat, equip, get, target. I can attack the corpse. I just need a limb. Where do we get a limb? I've never had to worry about finding limbs before. Usually they happen when I'm playing as a man that has axes. But our only option's Uzi. I can clone myself, find a mad pole, and wait for the mad pole to do bad things to my cl my clones. You know a guy? Animus of a vast mind, alright. Are they near me? Nope, I'm guessing they're with the fucking evil dromads like they always are. Oh my god, I hate... I hate having to deal with a giant army of dromads. Wait for the bubble they put around me to go away, they're not even attacking. Clairvoyance. Alright, what are we dealing with? Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Now, what kind of friends did they bring? Yishiru no longer, but who's Rook and partner. Implanted Banner Knight Templar and Psychic Thrall. Good, I'm glad you're psychically thralled. Monad. As always. Piles of Dromatters. Another Monad. It's the stupid Saltbacks. They take so long to kill, and there's so many of them. It's not worth it. The time it takes to fight them is so frustrating. And they make a million clones of themselves. There's burgeoning happening all over the goddamn place. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. Goodbye. I'm just here for sinister presences. Take a little walk to, there we go. Okay, sinister presence. I want to see him and take a look at him. <coughs> Damn it. <coughs> Where is me? I was hoping to look at me very fast and early. There I am. Weirdly enough, my clone has not been fuging. Flawless Crystal Shardmail, Flawless Crystal Coronet, Kessel Face, Nylon Backpack, Bioscanning Bracelet, Wooden Arrow, Beaded Bracelet, Zetachrome Dagger, Eigen Rifle, Gauntlet, he doesn't have the thing equipped. If I look at myself, do I see it? Locker, yeah, I have Locker equipped. He, he doesn't have Locker equipped. Damn. 
I'm very curious, like, is he unequipping it before I get here? Or does it just not spawn because the game knows what I'm trying to do? Well, either way, now we know we can't do locker. But that's fine. That's fine. We're just going to go ahead and... No, don't equip it. Remove it. Locker. Open. Luis! This game looks all kinds of complicated. It looks complicated. I'm not going to lie, it's still a little complicated. But, it's actually not that bad. I deeply love this game, and if you have questions, please ask them, and I will answer. Alright, let's take the drop out. I feel like if we're going to copy something, the drop is probably the most important one. Panda, that's right. Panda is what we go with. You got it, Panda. So this is Caves of Cut. This is one of my favorite games. We've been trying to uh, cheat a little bit. Is Taco Supreme exactly what I think it is? Like a very nice taco? Delicious taco wrapped in thin paper. All right, drop of Eater's Nectar. So basically, this is a turn-based roguelike where almost anything could happen. It's a wildly open-ended experience. I am trying to use my evil twin <laughs> who hunts me down to try and make copies of items. Really, those beaded bracelets. Am I wearing a beaded bracelet? I'm not even wearing a beaded bracelet. That's weird. He's been changing. Yeah, he's he's changing his equipment a little bit. But I knew I de I need I need beaded bracelets. If I can get extra beaded bracelets off him. This is a good plan. <coughs> We're gonna wait for his bubble to drop. Target. So yes, Kazakut is a turn-based roguelike, story-driven. There's a plot. And the character creation process is super open-ended, so I made a very weak, like physically weak character that is a uh, psychic, like a super esper. And I took a negative trait called Evil Twin, which causes what it sounds like, an evil twin to appear. And that's who we're fighting right there. My super powerful sludge buddy is currently fighting him, but... He caused a bunch of plants to grow. My interdimensional pig friend is on fire, so I'm going to fight the flames off of him. Come on. Wait for the bubble to come down. Come on, buddy. Let's take a step over here so you don't get lit on fire constantly. If the sludge can friend him again, that'd be very helpful. I really gotta get normality gas. I wanna get rid of their stupid bubbles. I wonder if someone's selling those schematics. Oh, you're still super fine. Fight fire. Sludgy, go get him. He's just standing there. What are you doing? Sludgy. Attack him. Playing a classic? Level 45 is crazy. So we had a few complicated problems occur. I should be level 38, I believe. But... What ended up happening is the game got an update and our save file was incompatible. Sludgy, go get him. What are you doing? Our save was incompatible, so we wanted to continue the run with this particular setup. So we we 
recreated the character and we used Wish to speed level him a little bit, but we actually we went a little too far. Because I was doing like, you know, hey, give us X amount of XP. And when we got to the right level, we were like 35 or so. We realized we had to level up our companion, who is now level 1 compared to us. So we gave our companion experience, and it shared the experience with our character. So we actually we got a few extra levels by mistake. It's balanced a little bit by the fact that the Psychic Glimmer means every screen we have to fight armies of Psychics. Which are very frustrating to fight. Why is Uzi Usborn just not attacking him? You're, you're driving me a little insane here, Uzi. And now Uzi got teleported. Fight fire. Come on, buddy. Thank you. <sighs> Wait for that bubble to go off. Have Uzi rush in and kill him. Come on, Uzi. Go get him, Uzi. Yeah, yeah, hit him! Make him fall in love with you again! Uh, I think he just died. Nope, there he is. Our poly sludge sometimes gets things he attacks to fall in love, and then we get to harvest all the equipment off of him. Well, I don't know if he's alive in there. I don't think I need any more copies of my... No, he's alive! God damn! Charles! No fucking way. How are you alive? I would be dead. Wait, I see a heart on him. Stiff legs, confused, hobbled, poison, nosebleed. No. He is not currently in love. Well, he'll be dead now. Surely he's dead now. Man, I, I last a little bit longer in these situations than I would have thought. Here, I'll help. My attacks just bounce off, of course. 50 hit points. 41. He's using Urban Ostrom Injectors, that's how he's staying alive. Thirty-four. There he goes. Oh, Aloe Voltas. Uzi? You still have... Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, that's a bummer. So the gear we got from the copy of me that was in love with us disappeared. That gear, that gear's gone. Ceases to be. Ah, oh, that's a real bummer. I guess back to reinforced nano weave for you. And a sun veil, I guess. Floating nearby, have a glow sphere, I suppose. Chain gauntlets? Uh, we'll give you some more DV, I suppose. Ooh! But, don't I have multiple copies of <clears throat> melee weapons? Where's melee weapons? Missile weapons. Shit! I think some of the gear that like we get off of the disarmed version of him disappears after a period of time? Because I don't even have a melee category anymore. Aw, oh, man. I thought we were so smart, but I guess there's just like a period of time where it exists and then it ceases to exist. I thought because they were dead, the gear was still there, but it, it disappears after a while. So now these people are like walking around missing... missing things. Boo! 
Leather boots. All right, no more trying to use Evil Twin to game the system. It doesn't work. I still think I want Uzi to wear the Crystal Shard mail, though. He is more of a frontline fighter. God damn it. Alapyrus. To be fair, it is supposed to be a negative. Oh, no, no. I know, I know. I, I knew we were trying to... We were trying to abuse the game a little bit. So I'm not like, ah, poopy. They got us. Like, no, no. We were, we were trying to cheat. But it was a fun, like, using game mechanics way of cheating. So it's always... Always okay in my book. But... The experiment's over. We no longer need to run around trying to use an evil twin to get extra copies of things. So, drop of nectar. No longer gonna be in my fist slot. I guess I'll just hold on to a buckler? Damn. I was really hoping to get extra beaded bracelets, too. Uh, remove the zetachrome. Put the zetachrome dagger here. All right, it is what it is. <clears throat> it was a fun experiment. We learned. So the question now is, how do we get a limb? We really got to find a body part. Where can we find one? Do you think the Six Day Stilt sells body parts? The Six Day Stilt's frustrating because there's psychic assassins that spawn when we're trying to shop, which is a huge hassle. I'm really struggling on how to figure out the whole getting a body part element. Because none of us here are able to uh, cleave. We can't, we can't dismember. Manage skills. Like, there's no way we're gonna get skill points on Uzi. Maybe if we could, like, I was more interested in uh, cudgel and dual wields. He'll never fucking level up. Did the game just crash again? No! I apologized. I can't use escape. It's weird. It's weird when it crashes like this. Well, let's go ahead and force quick caves to cut again. Sorry. Any ideas for fighting a body part? I am I am open. Open to ideas. What else you got plans? I kinda wanna poke a little bit more of Baldur's Gate 3 just to see the next little bit of it. And to see if my driver update made any difference. And then after that, I don't know. What, whoopsies? Uh, the game was half frozen, like I couldn't get off the screen. Dismember's the best way, yeah, like... I don't have a means of getting Dismember right now, so I'm trying to figure that out. I guess we have... We have a Barathamite. But if he dies, we're gonna have a bad time. Cause it's gonna be it's gonna blame us for it. But we could train him and use him to do it? Let's go back to Gritgate. Let's replace the cell and go back to Gritgate. Gritgate, Gritgate. 